today, of course, is Thursday. Welcome to the show. I'm PT. Hope you guys enjoyed the show yesterday. I, I really appreciate you guys supporting me at my dinner yesterday. Thank you, Gregory, and thank you, uh, Sint. I really appreciate that. I had a great time at Outbacks. I gotta find me somewhere else to eat besides Outbacks. Anyway, welcome to the show today, of course, is Thursday once again. It's called PT Showbiz Top 5. Child, if you ain't never seen the show before, baby, I go from 5 and I work my way down to number 1. That's my TMZ comeback over here, but I've been, you know, using it a lot. But I decided to set it over here to let you know that I still have my PT's punch. This is going to be celebrity entertainment news and gossip. All right, let's get right to it on Showbiz Top 5 number 5. I'm going to be talking about this 95-year-old grandmother. I'm going to tell you what she did. She was way out of line. Maybe not. And of course, Showbiz Top 5 number 4, Tristan is finally talking, and I need him to shut up. Showbiz Top 5 number that was four. Number three is going to be Cardi B against Nicki Minaj. I'll tell you what happened. And of course, Showbiz Top 5, number two, Cardi B's security guard was way out of line. I'm going to read the hell out of them, and I'm going to read the hell out of Chris Brown. He has a warning coming from PT from Texas, and I hope he heeds to the warning. Let's get right to it. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed my little dance that I give, <laughs> did for you guys. As you know, it's almost the weekend, and I know y'all had, some of you guys have had a rough week, and what some of us have, some of, some of us haven't, but I hope that things get better for you. Um, I want to shout out to all my new subscribers that, you know, never seen my show before, I just started watching my show. Let me tell you, if you've never seen the show, I have celebrities over here, they're over in the gold room, they talk back to me, I'm not stupid and I'm not crazy. But they do, let me, I'm not putting this up. Ah, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm putting this up, yeah. So they talk back to me every once in a while in the other room. So if I say, huh, what did you say? You know, that's the celebrities over there. It costs too much to bring them out of here. So I have to, anyway. Anyway, let's talk about this 95-year-old grandmother child. Let me tell you what happened. Well, there's a 95-year-old grandmother. Here she is right here. Her name is Hattie Reynolds. Come on, Hattie. <laughs> Well, honey, had it decided, well, she wanted her daughter, who goes by the name of, <laughs> this is not funny, y'all, y'all are going to hell. She goes by the name of Janine. I hope I got her name right. Well, she uh, she wanted the granddaughter to come out of the back room because she had the fan on it, so she don't do nothing but lay around and stand around and just don't do nothing. She just stay in the room. Well, Okay. And she says she can't afford to have her in the room all day running that air. She need to come up in the front room. <laughs> front one, if that ain't old fashioned. Let me see what they, I forgot. I'm trying to think where they say they was from. But anyway, baby Miss Hattie, she had barged her way up into the room. And the whole time she was, Miss Hattie was on the phone with the popos, baby. And then I'm trying to find this right here. So Miss Hattie came up in the room. She told her to get her ass out that bed and come out that room. You running up my air. And she said, pow, y'all. <laughs> and hit her with this upside her head. And the whole time she was talking to the police, the police came and arrested Miss Hattie. <laughs> oh, mess. Oh, I miss her, mess her, mess her, mess Oh. Well, she said she don't do nothing but stay up in the room all day. And of course, you know, the granddaughter didn't want to press charges. But say, uh... You know, she's been she was charged with uh, domestic violence. Here, this here's my issue with this whole situation. No, no, Miss Hattie should have hit her, but ain't no telling what that heifer was doing. It ain't no telling what that heifer was doing. First of all, where's the mama and the grandma? Where's the mama and the daddy? It's a damn shame that these people. I don't know if the the mom. I don't know the story. I don't know if the mother and father dead. I don't know if the mother and father just not being mothers and fathers, but it's sad that these grandmothers have to raise these damn children because the goddamn, excuse my language, but I'm fucking mad that because the damn kids can't raise their own damn kids and they put it on the damn grandma. So no, she shouldn't have had her granddaughter, but they don't tell her what the hell for doing. She probably having little boys in the room and everything else. Hot ass. But these days, these days, you can't hit this grandchildren. I'll tell you what. Miss Hattie, I'm going to give you a little advice. I know she be watching my show. <laughs> Put her ass out of there. If she don't want to follow the rules, she need to go find her somewhere else to stay. How old was this girl? It didn't say how old she was. 
but she old enough to listen to her grandma. You know, if her grandma say, bring her ass out of that room, you bring your ass out that room, you know? And you don't need to be shutting no doors either way. We don't, we didn't shut no damn doors from more than when we live with mama out. No, ma'am, shutting the door. No. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, Dan, how you doing? I didn't know you was over there. That's my daddy, y'all. What is crazy as that? Yeah, yes, sir. I told him we didn't shut the doors. Okay, mama over there. I know y'all not together no more. I'm just, I just didn't know if she came down with you. Okay, Dad. Thank you. Right. That's my daddy. Anyway, I'm, I just, I'm like, you know, yes, she was wrong for hitting her granddaughter in the face with a slipper. <laughs> but we all got it like that. But these days you can't do it. But that heifer need to obey the rules of the house. You know, if you, you know, if you ain't paying the bills, even if you are paying the bills, if that house ain't in your name, you need to follow the damn rules. I wouldn't give a damn if you was 50 years old. If you stand with somebody else, you have to follow their rules. Amen? It's such a sad situation. I, I just think, if I, I don't know. I just feel so sorry for these grandmothers. I do. With these damn these damn men and these, these young kids think, oh, I'm going to be a dad. I'm going to have a baby. I'm going to... And they got no type of responsibility. They ain't, they ain't trying to do right. And as my mama say, ain't got shit from Shiova. <laughs> ain't got shit from Shiova. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm just saying, oh my God. Oh, I feel sorry. Oh, Lord. Right now, bless Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless Miss Hattie, Lord. Hopefully she get everything together. Put her ass up by there, Miss Hattie. Oh. Speed of putting somebody ass out. Let's move on to show Mr. Top 5. This is going to be number 4. I want to talk about Tristan's ass. Mm -hmm. He finally talking now. He's talking to us weekly. And I picked this up last night. And I want to share this with y'all. Well, he's finally talking. And this is what he's saying. Well, he's saying that True is doing fine. <laughs> I was slept the hell out of here. True is doing fine. She she do what all babies do. She just eating and sleeping, and that's all they do. And yeah, seven, yeah, that's all they do. You know what? You should have been sleeping, sleeping. Well, no, you was sleeping, but you were sleeping with somebody else that wasn't your wife. You whore. <laughs> I'm just so mad at him. I can't, you know, and what I don't understand is you know that you was messing around with this Kardashian girl and you know they got cameras everywhere. You, you saw the girl, when the girl was videotaping and she had looked up at the camera. You stupid whore. Oh, oh, talking about, oh, the baby changed. That baby ain't changed you. You still a hoe. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. You still a hoe, Tristan. You just a shameful hoe. You think... You ain't changed. You don't change that fast. You a hoe. You always gonna be a hoe. Anyway, he said the difference between his seventeen-year-old son Prince, he got by another woman. Well, Chloe, her ass, she should have been messing around with him no way. Cause anyway, so let me finish on with this. He said the difference between the girl and the guy is he said the difference is, you know, he tells you know the boy, I got you, don't cry. But for the girls, it's like you know, daddy's here for you. You, you know, daddy, don't cry. I got you. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. It's, Tristan, sit your ass down. You should have been saying that for your damn, the woman that you had the damn baby by. Not the two whores you were sleeping on, laying around with on the couch and that whore with that big nasty looking butt that you went to the damn hotel with. I can't stand a nasty low down. Oh, I can't stand a cheap. Oh, that baby ain't changed you, Tristan. You still a hoe. Man, I hope you see this video. I don't give a damn. I hope you see this damn video. I'm so mad at him. Let's move on. Show us top five. Number three. I want to talk about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. You know, everybody been saying they've been feuding and stuff. Well, here is the latest with this feud mess. Well, according to what I read, uh, Cardi B and Nicki, of course, you know, they met up at the Met Gala. They looked flawless. Cardi B was beat. Nicki was beat. Everybody was beat. And uh, she said they met up and she said the only reason why, uh, Cardi said the only reason why she never discussed this in public because she knew one day she would meet up with, uh, you know, with Nicki Minaj. And they spoke whatever and they talked and she said that it was just a misunderstanding. 
you know, and they and she was actually on the Howard Stern show, and Howard Stern Howard asked her, "Well, do you think it was the social media that made you guys beef?" And she said, "No, not really." She said, "People have always had tried to make you know black women fight each other, you know, always come against each other, which is true." And and she said, why is it that the Latin community can come together and do things together in the white community, but the black community can get and I, and I, and I give, I'm a, I applaud Nikki and, and Cardi B for this. I do. You know, I applaud them for this. And I'm hoping, she, she said that they're headed toward the right path. And I would love to see them do collaborate and do something together. This would be awesome. This would be flawless. I'm, I'm happy. This is a happy ending. And I hope that y'all stop trying to make these two beef. Okay, because first of all, y'all know I'm not really into rap no network. I'm old school. So, child, it'll never be a Whitney Houston. And I know they don't sing. They're just rappers. But I'm just saying, just stop the beef. Stop the drama. Let the two women come together. Let them do something together. Let let them, let them work together. Let's show some unity in the community. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Hopefully, finally, this is over. But what's not over is something that Nikki's going to have to address. Not Nikki, but Cardi B is going to have to address. Well, honey, after the Met Gala, so about 2 in the morning, one of the fans wanted the autograph. And, and you know, of course, uh, Cardi B kept walking, and the security guards was like, no, 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 no. And one of the fans, he yelled out, you know, I'm an autograph hound. And next thing you know, you know, I saw the, the, the videotape, and next thing you know, they was stumping his ass like <laughs> Miss Hattie was, you know. Yes. Cardi, I didn't know you was over there. Hey, girl. They didn't mean to do it. Cardi, it don't matter, child. They should have never did it because they was, you, can, you don't stump nobody like that because you still going to be responsible for that. Child, let me get back with you. Cardi B. But what I'm saying is, guys, here, this is how this should be handled. Cardi B, you got to you got to take your management have to take control because listen, honey, you riding on high horses right now, but baby, listen, it's a lot of celebrities that, that died miserable, that died by themselves. Michael Jackson, Prince, honey, don't ever think that you that you that, that you too high and mighty because the Lord will bring you down. You need to take control of your security. First of all, that's not real security. Security don't beat up nobody just because they asked ask for a damn autograph. He didn't like he tried to attack her or nothing like that. You know, when I saw the damn video, uh, just uncalled, just stupid. You know, to go off on that boy. Hit, and then after, and then y'all sissies. Security guard, y'all ain't no security guard. Y'all sissies because a, a man, first of all, it don't take four or five, six. I can't stand to see more than one person jump on one person. That's a hoe. A sissy ass holder. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't stand that. Or I can't stand to see more than one person jump on one person. That's, that means you're a sorry ass person. So I hope they. I hope he sues, and I hope he sued to the max. I hope he get everything he can get. I don't care where he get it from. From Nick. I mean, from uh, you know, from Cardi. Whatever. I hope he sued they asses off. And Cardi B, you need to take control of your damn people, and you just tell them they need to stop all that mess. All right. Oh, let's move on to show this top five. This is gonna be number one. This is gonna be number one. This is gonna be real juicy. This is a warning to Chris Brown. And that's why I labeled it warning to Chris Brown. Chris Brown, I don't, young man, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's a lie. But Gloria Allred is involved. Has she been after you for so long? Let me tell you something, Chris. I I I don't know what you got going on over in your house. But let me let me just tell you guys what's a, what's alleged, what's hap what had happened in 2017 at Chris's house. Orgy, rape, alleged. This girl was invited. She goes by Jane Doe. They had all kind of drugs, allegedly cocaine, Molly, weed, you name it. <laughs> and she's claiming that Chris forced her, forced her into the and, and her and other females into the bedroom and put the couch. Behind the door and did all kind of mess to them. The one of the men that was named in the, in the lawsuit is a, a Lawo Grissom. And Gloria Alred, she's behind this case, and she said this is the worst assault that she's ever seen. The worst. They performed. Uh, they made them for, supposedly uh, forced them to do perform sex. All kind of mess. 
let me say something to 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 you women first of all. Stay away from these men houses, these celebrities. I stay away, stay away. If somebody invites you, go with another man, some man that you know. Why the hell are you going over Chris Brown house? You know his reputation. You know his reputation. Why would you go over there and set yourself up with this fool with all kind of stuff that he's had alleged that he's done? He's already been accused of beating the hell out of Rihanna. Why would you set... Listen, okay, here's my warning to Chris Brown. Chris Brown, you have a daughter, young man, and I'm going to talk to you like I'm your big brother. Regardless of what you see back here, I'm going to talk to you like I'm your big brother. Listen, you've been given many opportunities, young man. Right now, the Me Too movement is going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Bill Cosby came down. You're going to be next, bro. You better get your life together. You better think about that little girl. You better think about your mom. You better think about your freedom. Because you're going to keep on, Chris Brown, and your ass going to get locked up. You done got chance after chance after chance after chance, and you keep messing it up. And I'm talking to you as a black man, to another black man. You got to do better. I don't know if this is true or not, but if you, it's got to be something to it. You, the, the people was in the house. Just keep these holes out of your house. Keep these hood rats or whoever's in your house, not saying the girl that got raped allegedly is a hoe, but I'm just saying, keep these people out of your house, Chris Brown. They out to get you, whether you did it or not, they out to get you. We don't know if it's true or not, but stop it, stop it, stop it. My God, you can get vagina anytime. You don't have to, if this is true, you don't have to do all of this stuff, man. You're going to end up in prison. You're going to, I'm trying to give you a warning, man. This might, this might be it for you. They have to get your ass, bro. They have to get you. You sitting up in the mountains, sitting up in them nice houses, and you don't think they can, listen, if, <laughs> if they can come down on Bill Cosby, bro, they can get your ass. And you ain't got half the money that Bill Cosby got. You better slow your roll, Chris Brown. You remember this video that I sent out, I know you're gonna see it. Because I'm going to make sure that you see You better slow your roll, Chris Brown. Because they're coming after your ass. You better calm your ass down. Or your ass going to be sitting behind bars. Like you should have been sitting behind bars after what you did to Rihanna. You better calm down, bro. You better get yourself together. And if these girls are lying, shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. But see, all of this would happen if you celebrities would stop inviting these people to y'all houses. These people don't give a damn about y'all. They want man, money, fame, and fortune. That's all they want. And I'm trying to tell you what God love. I'm done with the story. I'm PT, y'all. PT Showbiz Top 5 right here. Make sure you guys tune in every Monday through Friday with all the latest entertainment news. And don't forget to join my girl, Miss Lunell. She's going to be in Rochester. Rochester, New York. That's going to be... Uh, at the Carlson, that's going to be at 531 all the way up until 602. And this is going to be in Philly at, uh, on, on the 6th, on the 7th of June at the Helium. All right, I want to say happy birthday to Dale. And I want to talk about uh, my girl, Entrepreneur. She's a new blogger, and I want you guys to go follow her. Um, she's uh, also a new subscriber. Here's her information right here. Please go follow her. Show her some love. And I thank you, sweetie, for, you know, uh, uh, following PT and, and, and liking my show. I, it was great talking to you when I was in my hometown, Abilene. I'm glad you're now a part of the family. Listen, I want to tell you guys something. A lot of you guys, you know, you, you text me early in the morning or you hit me up early in the morning. Give me a break. No, let me get up after 12 o'clock, you know, because you know my schedule is a late night. So please, guys, you know, let me, let me, let me get up and get my day started. Unless it's a dire emergency, try not to hit me up until after, you know, 12, 1 o'clock, Texas time. All right? I appreciate that. You can email me. That's even better. But don't try not to call or, or, or hit me up on Facebook or anything like that because I'll be trying to sleep. Uh, I'm a night worker, okay? All right. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the PayPal button below, or you can also send me an email at C-O-M-E-D-I-A-N, comedianpt at yahoo.com, or you can hit me up at ptshowbiztop5 at gmail.com for those who don't have, uh, for those who have Gmail. And I'm also on Twitter, uh, that's ptshowbiztop5, and of course the same thing on 
Instagram. You guys take care. Whatever you do, hit the like button, share, and comment. I love you guys, and you guys have a great Thursday. Take care.